sunbeam. Episode 2 There's a meeting with the Italians at 1 o'clock, City Hall at 3 for social advertising, and at 6 for approval of the estimate for the mineral water slogan. As usual, nothing new. Is the lawyer coming? Yes, at 11. I got a text confirming. <sighs> she could have sent me a text, at the very least, to say she's all right. If she doesn't call, then everything is okay. Hold on tight, huh? I am, believe me. But it's not okay. She needs to get married. To have children. We should babysit our grandchildren. Time flies, you know. Uh, hurry up, I'm getting tired. Oh, God. Mom! Dad! Mary! Mary! <laughs> Mary! <gasps> Hello, Mom. Stefan, meet your grandmother, Valentina. And Mom said that you have a ram on the farm. And that grandfather is strict. <laughs> Mom? And meet your grandfather, Eugene. Hello, sir. I am Sunbeam, your grandson. I don't get it. Mom. What? Dad, this is my son, Stefan. And we also are very tired and hungry from our journey. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's all go inside. Yes, I do have a ram and... and also a horse. And Grandpa... is kind. Yes? Grandpa... Come on. Let's go. Grandpa. Forgive me, Dad. <sighs> he looks like you. Who's the father? If you're here to see me, I don't have time. I have an appointment for 11 o'clock. I have an appointment with my lawyer. He'll be here any minute. Mm -hmm. Well, I am your lawyer. Barsky. My name's Elena Barsky. Are you disappointed? No, I was just told that Barsky is, well... Ah, and there's no gender in the name. Uh, you're not the first person to be surprised to see me instead of a man. Can I come in, though? Yes, yes, of course, come in. Great, okay, thank you. Okay, let's start. Not right now, away. I'm busy, please. Go have a seat. I will take care of your case. I'll need all the documents. Hmm. What are you doing, Tamara? Can you hurry up? Oh, thank you. Thanks, Tamara. Addresses, witnesses, and mm -hmm. payment. Okay, I'm listening. 30% down payment. That comes to, let's see. Here's the amount. 
It might go up in proportion to expenses. It's a deal. So why do you want your son back? Well, he's mine. I'm his father. Mm -hmm. The second thing I start with is details. Is this some kind of conspiracy? Everybody wants details. I spent all night with the investigator. He wanted details too. Here's my statement. He's got it all on record. Only I didn't sign it. Why not? Um, uh, does your son love you? Of course he does. And Lori, too? Do I love him? So are you going back to him? He doesn't need me or Sunbeam. Mom, have you called Dad yet? I want to tell him about the ram. No, my love. Daddy is busy. He has a lot of work. You always say that. Well, don't be upset. Come on. I'll show you the chickens, and maybe you can feed them. Am I to guess that Stefan doesn't know you ran away? Mm -mm. And so now what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid of losing my son, Dad. Father. get your son back. You don't need to be too worried. Moreover, I'm sure with all the years of living together, Lori was guided only by selfish goals. Can you explain? Well, you paid her a lot of money. She lived in the same house with you. She traveled with a personal driver, never denied herself anything. If that's not self-interest, then... She was using you. Are you ready to play rough? Yes. Please don't do anything on your own, but put out a search warrant. Go to the police and do it all very properly, according to the law. Here you go. By the law, right? Yes? Well, you know the instructions. At the bottom, my words written down correctly, read by me, date, sign. Is that all? Yes, of course, but, um... What? What changed your mind? What? What is it? Caleb, where are you? The Italians have arrived. Have you thought it over some more? You don't know your son's exact birth date. You think you can choose a mother for a child from a photograph? Do you have a photo of your son? But a child, that's different. That's a much greater responsibility. She's trying to protect her son. Скрытый под маской солнца сын, кончилась сказка и ты один. Тебе стало просто 
так много лет Чувствуешь дерево кожи и рук Вот она, дверь замыкает круг Между жизнью ты не Жизнью твоей на земле By the law, I'll change your mind. Ooh, you're only two hours late. Sorry. I was with the police. I'm aware of that. I heard. Your shoes are dirty. You've muddled the whole... Your eyes are angry. Your face is a mess. Wow, what a view! You know, you have a real lived-in face. Scars further adorn a man. Well, don't show off your adornments. It might not serve you well. In short, I suspended you from negotiating. That will be taken over by... Paul here. By our Paul. Um... You take the day off. At your own expense. A day off, not a big binge. And tomorrow, you'll be as fit as a fiddle. Get your brain in order by tomorrow. Brain repair, memory restoration. I'll do anything for my son. The best education abroad, the best teachers. I'm ready to work twice as hard, so he'll never have to know any poverty. Money is a myth. A kid doesn't need money. Yeah? Said by a man who's lived all his life in communal apartments, working as an ad sandwich in Moscow. I didn't ask you to come here. You don't understand anything. You're a fool. You've known me since kindergarten and you're still clueless. Brain repair. Restoration of memory. Brain repair. Restoration Tony. of memory. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My nerves. Repair of brains. Restoration of memory. Brain repair! Okay, that's Restoration it. Restoration of memory! Just forget it. You understand that a child doesn't need teachers. A kid needs his parents. You know what our specialists say when they take a broken computer in for repair? LFS, OGC. Look for the simple or get complication. In 90% of cases, the hardware is broken because of some trifle. I don't know, a wire broke off, a button got stuck. If you can't find the answer, you rack your brains complicating everything. And where's the simple one, Tony? The easiest solution is to forget all and forgive. You are not yourself. The child keeps asking about his father. Why'd you do this? You thought you'd stay hiding here? You're not telling the truth. You're leaving something out. I don't understand one thing. Why have you kept quiet about Stefan? <laughs> what are we? Strangers to you? Come on. It's time to speak frankly. It's... it's Caleb. you no go away I just want to talk to him
Women are always inventing things. Why did you- Quiet! The child sleeps! Want to turn men into some kind of monsters. He will find us and take him away from me. That's what you said. The barn roof is broken. That's why it's knocking. I'm going back out to fix it now. Don't touch the gun. Sit here like chickens and stay quiet. <laughs> Your father's right. Please don't be afraid. He won't come, honey. He won't come, don't worry. Are you awake? You and Daddy had a fight? Because of me? No, of course not, dear. Mom, tell me a story about how I was born. I've told you this story many times. How the sun gave us his beam. Well, tell me again. <laughs> okay. There was a tall, tall tower on Earth. <laughs> and black clouds floated around this very, very high tower. And they were so black that even the sun did not shine through them. And there was a man who lived in that tower. He never left that tower because he had a lot of work to do. Hello.
hello. Caleb, good morning. How are you feeling? Mm. Fresh as a daisy. Remember, we have a meeting with a small company at 11 with the project's approval at noon. Mm. Oh. George expects you in his office at 5.30 to take care of some small details. Caleb, do you hear me? Caleb, you there? Yes, yes, I'm listening, Paul. Okay. Mm. I'll be there soon. What is this? While you were working, Mary was cheating on you with your driver. Where did you get this? I found it while cleaning. <laughs> Mary's not so bad. Clever girl. Living in a beautiful house for so many years, not working. It's very convenient to get money under the guise of a child. You're at work all the time, the child is at school. Zero control. And your driver is cute. By the way, how much did you pay her? Enough, trust me. She's a witch. Behind my back! What's going on? Uh, never mind, you're fired. I told her we should. I'm serious. She insisted. I couldn't say no. You're fired. Yes, Paul. Caleb, are you far? Everyone's here already. I'm in the elevator. May I? Yes. Caleb, it's Investigator Torgev speaking. I've received information about the alleged location of Miss Laurie and your son. What do you intend to do now? That's a question I was about to ask you, Caleb. If I share the report about your son being kidnapped with my colleagues here at the station, uh, then Lori great. will be detained. And your son will be handed over to child welfare until things resolve. He'll be sent to the orphanage. Wait, what orphanage? And hello, yes, Paul? Yeah, I left on an urgent matter. Yeah, that's right, just drove away. Come on. All right, so after that, you bring the report hello. to the clerk. Hello, sir. Hold on, why a no, damned orphanage? All right. You work all day in Moscow, right, and later. these alleged grandparents have nothing to do with him as well as Lori. Most likely, they will be accused of complicity. Well, what do you suggest? How much do you need? Why do you measure everything by money, huh? He measures everything by money. Look, just tell him that I'm not coming in today. It's no big deal, he'll yell, of course. Call everything the hell off. Do you 
you feel dizzy yet? Oh, who is it? Mom? <laughs> Mom, I was feeding Tuzik, and then Grandma was giving me a ride. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. You see, Mary? Swings and merry-go-rounds all came in handy. <laughs> Dad kept everything. <laughs> he felt he would be swinging his grandkids. Good morning, my daughter. Why didn't you wake me up? You were tired from traveling. You needed the rest. But when is Daddy coming to see us? You told me after the meeting. I called him, but he didn't pick up. What took his meeting so long? Dear, when did you call him? Last night, I took your cell phone. But it has turned off. I turned it on. It's not that hard. How could you? Without permission! I just wanted to call my daddy. I'm sorry, honey. But you can't touch other people's things without permission. You hear? Yes, Anthony, hello. I'm alive, going to pick up my son. You found him? Congratulations! So the system of LFS... Look for the simple, it worked. Have you and Mary made up? No. She slept with my driver. What do you think, Tony? Bastards. What? Simply, your system does not apply to people. They don't have buttons, they have lousy brains. Don't jump to conclusion. Or you'll get complication. No, it's already complicated. Okay, all right, bye. I'm coming to a rough road. to me what's going on it's nothing mom everything's all right well where's father in the forest hunting Are you stuck? Uh-huh. I need a tractor to pull me. Come on, I'll take you to the tractor driver. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Do you know where the lorries live? There are many lorries in the village. Which ones? You know, the ones who have a daughter, Mary. Well, there's only one. What do you want with them? What do you want? Why do you need to know? Tell me how to find them. I can pay you. Are you Caleb? <laughs> well... I'm Mary's father. Why did you come? To apologize? <laughs> no, Mary will apologize. And I won't forgive her. I have the firm intention to take my son. Stefan? Stefan. Listen here. I am warning you. Get out of here. Or I will. Shoot your balls off. I will not let my daughter get hurt, nor my grandson. Hey, what are you doing? Stop, are you crazy? He's not your grandson. Mary's not even his mother. You have no rights to him. You're strangers to him. Go sleep it off. He calls her mommy. Mommy? She's his surrogate mother. Surrogate. Have you heard of that? Like that, she gives birth to a baby, receives money, and disappears. An incubator. 
What do you mean? Money. Just like that. I took pity on her. I kept her after she gave birth. My son started calling her mother. Do you know how she repaid me? Here, look at this. This is her lover. My driver, okay? He didn't know about the boy? That was her story. You needed the money and she earned it for you. To buy combines, to pay debts, so you wouldn't have to live on the street. I never had any debts. I never had any combines. You're crazy. No debts? Well, that's good. She tricked both you and me. She's an expert. I don't know if what you just told me is true, but now you're going to get in your crappy car and drive away from here forever. I'll send you a tractor driver. But I'll get my son first, understand? You're still insisting? Look out. The woods are dark here. By God, I'll sue you. Stop right there. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Never aim at people. Even a stick can go off. Valentina! Hmm? Take Stefan inside. Come on, let him play a little. Did you hear me? Stefan, let's go inside. Follow me, Mary. In the barn. Honey, what's wrong? Go inside. Now you'll tell me only the truth. What do you mean, the truth? Your Caleb came. He told me something. He won't be back. What? <gasps> no, no, watch no, out! out! Hey. Hey. Are you dead? Who are you? Tractor driver. <laughs> and here? Look how he looks like Mary here. how they look alike. And here he looks like you. The same eyes. The doctors mix something up. It's our grandson, ours. Look at this, how you look alike. Sweetie, please just tell me they are the same. They are the same. Yes. 
Mom. Dad. Can you please forgive me? Oh. <gasps> My dear daughter. <laughs> This is the first time I've heard of such a thing. Well, I've heard some things, but ignored them. A surrogate, what's that? Well, it's like, are you a mother or not a mother? Watch the road, Sergeant, and preferably in silence. How much will I get? For kidnapping a minor, you could get six to fifteen years. Sergeant, I told you, be quiet. Give me back my child. Do you hear? He is my baby. Give it back. Give me back my baby. Let me out of here, you hear? That's my son! Let me out of here! That's my baby! Give me back my baby! That's my baby! Give him back to me, please! Stop it! Open this gate! Let me have my baby back! He's my son! Let me out of here! Give me my baby back! Let me out of here! Bring me out! I want my baby back! Let me out! Today, Today we have, we have the case, case of a kidnapping by, by a suspect by a named Mary Lori, of, of the minor, minor child, child, a boy, boy Stephen Davey. Judge, Judge, I apologize for being late. late. Counsel for the defendant, uh, Karasev. Traffic. So the surrogacy contract does not provide for cohabitation between the accused and my client. My client believes that Mary Laurie was artificially prolonging her residence in his home. She intentionally prolonged breastfeeding. She intentionally, deliberately, she intentionally, deliberately prolonged breastfeeding. Breastfeeding, breastfeeding, giving the baby artificial formula in spite of his prior contract. Um. Let it be stated that my client claims that the child was allergic to the formula. Do you have a report of allergic reactions? Do you have an allergy report? Do you have an allergy report? Any mother knows that breast milk is much healthier than formula. It's been proven. Don't generalize. Do you have a doctor's report? No. 
There is evidence of a close relationship between Miss Lori and the driver, Igor Panov. What? But that's not true. The photo's attached to the file. What photo? What photo? There is there evidence, is evidence of, a of a close relationship, relationship between Miss Lori and... Objection! Yeah. Miss Lori was not bound by marital ties with Mr. Davey, so she had every right to have a relationship of her own. And that's actually her own business. And I believe you, Mary. And I believe you, Mary. And I believe you, Mary. Order in the courtroom. Miss Lori kidnapped the child and took him to an unknown destination for the purpose of blackmailing my client. Here's the search warrant. I didn't kidnap anybody. He's my son! He's my, He's my son. son. And I believed, and I believed you, Mary. You, Mary. He's my, He's, my son. Son. He's my son. He's my son. Lori kidnapped the child. I apologize, but Stepan Davy thinks of the defendant as his mother. And I believe there's life on Mars, so but what? I'll have order in the courtroom. My client attempted to get the child back peacefully, but it almost cost him his life. Explain further. Lori's, Lori's father, father threatened, threatened to kill Mr. Mr. Davy and fired a shotgun under my client's feet. That's not provable. No witnesses. Which is exactly, Which is exactly why the DVR, DVR recording, recording of Davey's car, car shows. shows. What, the, what DVR the DVR recording, DVR recording, recording of. of. The DVR recording of. The DVR recording of. Lori's father threatening threatened Davey. 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 Well, the court has to understand and realize that having a baby changes the whole world for a woman. Objection. Overruled. After the birth, my defendant had, now shall I say this to the court, uh, a change of values. She fell in love with the child. But she still took the money, right, Mary? Right, Mary. 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 There are there always three people involved in circuses. Besides the surrogate mother, 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 Stephen Dave has, has a biological, biological mother. mother. And my client believes she, she should, should be the, be the, the one, one with the child. child. With the with child. child. With the child. With the child. With the child. With the child. The child. The child. Your Honor, I've known Miss Bubble a long time, and eight years ago, uh, I asked her to give birth to my son. What's on your mind? Mm. Christina, let's have a baby. You can have cats and dogs, but having a child is agony. I'm not ready. I give you money, you give me a son. What are you talking about? What children? I have a contract with the English. Go back to your English hell, then. I don't care what you do. You're crazy. You'll play with some stupid girl and leave her in a month. And the kid? Close the door. Hey, Davy. Mm. Uh, you can buy a baby if you want. I don't want an orphan. That's not what I meant. I want him to be my own flesh. My own blood. That's not what I mean. Have you heard anything about surrogate motherhood? Well... Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not... I'm not stupid. I'm not ugly. I have good genetics. I wonder what I would get. What do you mean, what would you get? I would share an egg with you, Caleb. Hmm? I had nowhere to look for a mother, so we made a deal. Please bring Miss Babil into the courtroom. Witness Babil! Come in.
Miss Laurie? Are you not feeling well? Not feeling well, Miss Laurie? A long time.